Give the back seats a stiff pull and they'll pop directly out of the slots. Make sure to tuck in the seat belts before you try to remove the back seat. The scuff panels pop right out. Just be careful when you're putting them back that you don't squish the screws. Ask me how I know. There's one, two, three hooks in here. What you have to do is you have to push and lift. Don't try and pull it out yet. There's two little plastic sections holding in the seat belt. If you stick in a flathead screwdriver, you can push the button, pop it open, pull the seat belt right out. Put it to the side. Now you can remove the upper back seat. It's a little awkward. Make sure you don't snag it on anything. These two bolts hold in the seat belt. They're silver. Let's just take a minute and look at the quality of these welds. That's amazing. Tahara plant, baby. They know exactly what they're doing. Nice clean grounds. Fantastic. Pull off the plastic trim in the door. If you have any gummy fledge, now might be a good time to treat your weather stripping. I always reaffix it just to make sure I don't snag it on my feet. This is also the point where you need to pay special attention and watch out for the clips that hold in the plastic portion. Make sure you don't snag anything on them. I don't know about you, but I'm in the habit of always breaking these blue pins that are back here. So keep an eye out because they're not anchored totally. They just slide in and out of their slots. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull this like that. And as you can see, the way that I did it, it kept all of the pieces in there, the actual plastic screws, and that way you don't break them, right? I'm constantly breaking the things. I'm having a little bit of trouble with this one, so I am going to pull towards me and then pull out. And you can see, fell right out. But I heard it and I got it. One stayed in, make a note of it. You've got four clips, one, two, and then two back here that go under. I prefer to go in the front. Pops right out. Now, you've got three of those plastic screws. You got one here, one here, left of center, and then one here. Pop it up. One, two, three. Don't pull this out yet. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the seat belt, both seat belts. And then what you got to worry about here is the brake light right underneath there. See, there's, there's the sub, but first things first, slide the seat belts through the holes, free them up and let them hang. Now here's how I do it to make sure I don't damage the brake light, right? Just give this a little pop, and then you'll see. Pull this plug, remove your brake light, 
Remove the female end of the plug and tuck it in the hole. This way when you lift up the back, you're not gonna snag the wire. You'll just need to align it when you put the rear deck panel back. At this point, if you want to remove the sub, gently unplug the plug and remove the 10 millimeter bolts. Lift off the sub and you're done.